Well, give all praise, y'all, Bashim, Yosha, Bashim, Kakadash, honors to elders, fossils, men, and truth on down, like minded ones relating to this truth and knowledge. So we know this truth and knowledge. And the water, and the water, put in spirit, elders, fossils, men, and truth on down, and the like minded ones who teach this truth and knowledge. So we know this truth and knowledge and call all Yosha, Bashim, Yosha, Bashim, Kakadash. Give all praise, y'all, Bashim, Yosha, Bashim, Kakadash. There was a video report relating to Donald Trump was visiting in Atlanta at Chick fil A where he bought um, uh, milkshakes and chicken, <laughs> Chick-fil-A chicken for blacks there in a uh, local Chick-fil-A in Atlanta. Let me get some scriptures real quick relating to that. <laughs> Sirach, no, no, um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Because he's trying to cater to a certain base, we know. You know what I mean? He needs them votes for a specific category groups of people. He get the appeal for them. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression make a wise man mad. And a gift destroyed the heart. Which is the mind. And these so-called gifts ultimately are not gifts, man. They end up not being a bit beneficial relating to what they're supposed to be. They're just, they're just employing a tactic to use to get a certain group of category group of people to do certain things, man. To influence them. To per, just persuade them. Even seduce them, in a matter of speaking, man. Hosea 4 and 6. For my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I'll read it because it's bright out here. For my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no peace unto me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I'll also forget thy children. For my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That's the main point. But they destroy what they what they should know but don't know. But Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people, this is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people are foolish. Foolish goes to stupid, man. Sodish, man. Foolish, man. Because what? They lack what? The understanding related to Hosea 4 and 6, man. So they're sodish. For my people are foolish. They have not known me. So that makes them having that what? Lack of knowledge, man. They are sodish, which means foolish. They are foolish, stupid, even stupid children. They have no understanding because they lack the what? The wisdom and understanding and the knowledge, man. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. So our people are geniuses when it comes to doing wickedness, man. But actually, when they things they should be doing, they purposely, intentionally um, have no knowledge, man, or become purposely ignorant. It's not that they're. It's, it's not that they're don't know about doing certain things they just refuse and reject it man. so they they refuse to wise they, they're wiser to do more things that um they are, are are wicked than actually do things that are right man. you know they because they know they know the difference don't, don't get it twisted jake is very very smart he knows the difference but he, he's going to do what he wants to do. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's going to do what he wants to do. But, so, but that, but, but he lacks the understanding and, and knowledge, man. You know what I mean? So, ultimately, he lacks the understanding and knowledge. <clears throat> go to um, Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Here we go. I'm going to read it. Start from the top. Isaiah 30. Woe to the rebellious children, which is the house of Israel. The northern and southern tribe. Yerushalayim. The Yashalom. Saith the Lord, they that take counsel, but not of me. 
that cover what they cover, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And really, they trust in, in Egypt. This is going into man. They trust in the shadow, the strength of Egypt, man. The ones in power, Pharaoh, the Donald Trumps, the Bidens. That's who they trust in, man. And they walk. To go down into Egypt, they have not asked of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of the Pharaoh be your shame and the trust of the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And that's ultimately what it's been. They say, give us Pharaoh, let us worship Pharaoh, let us worship the, um, um, the ones in the power here, man. So that's going to be their shame and confusion for foolishly trusting in that, man. For his princes were as Zoan and his ambassadors to Hades. They were all ashamed of the people that could not profit them, nor be a help nor profit, but a shame also a reproach, man. That's what's going to be. They're gonna, it's going to be a shame and confusion to the nation of Israel, man, ultimately. And trusting in Egypt, man. For they are of horses and of men, but they don't have the spirit of God. Go, go, let's go to Isaiah 30. They're carnal, man. Their power is carnal and it's limited, man, compared to a more spiritual and um, permanent power, man. And that's the difference, man. In the matter of speaking, what I was saying previously, Jake is purposely, ignorantly wicked. They purposely reject it. They ignorantly uh, purposely reject it. And because they know what they don't. You know, Jake is not stupid, man. You know what I mean? He knows what he's doing, man. He just, he just want to do what he wants to do. You know what I mean? What he wants and feels what to do. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to read on down. Here we go. Let me finish up 30. That's why the scripture says they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. You know, what I mean, we know how to do do some wickedness, man. Um, I want to go to um, number nine. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law. So they hear the law, they reject it, they despise it, man. Uh, which say to the seers. See not and to the prophets, prophesize not us into right things, but speak us speaking to us smooth things. Prophesize the seat. They want to hear smooth things, easy things. They want they want itching ears. They want to they want to hear things that are that complement their lifestyle, that complement the way of their living, man. That don't go contrary to what they uh, contrary actually to what they're doing, man. They want to hear things that go contrary to what they're doing and things that they need to make changes or convert or to make changes on. So they want to hear they want to hear things that's um, nice and sweet and um, and um, I guess um, spiritually politically correct in a matter of speaking. Let's continue on. Um, get out of the way. Turn aside out of the past. So that's that's the attitude of the multitude. He said, get out. They hate the prophets, man. They hate the prophets. You know what I mean? You know. So they ain't trying to hear that, man. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us, man. So all that stuff, pretty much what they're saying to the prophets, all that stuff you're saying, we ain't trying to hear that, man. You know what I mean? And they get violent. You know, history, stone prophets, murder prophets, and the prophets. They, uh, they, they, they have, they have dealt. They were dealt harshly by the multitude, man. You know what I mean? That's another lesson, but let's go. Wherefore, thus saith uh, the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perversion, stay, stay there only, as you trust in oppression. Remember, scriptures um, talk about they want to, they like Egypt, man. And our people like Egypt. They like being oppressed. They like being in captivity because really they can do what they want in captivity. Man. Esau allows them to do certain things. Eve has power. 
all branches of the women have power because this is the woman's rulership as well, man. The Eve and the serpent. This is their rulership. Eve is um co co um you know co um what's the word I want co um yeah she she co rulership with um e, um the serpent, man. So she she knows she benefits relating to in the position here, man. Because women, what scripture talks about Jeremiah 30, 31 and twenty two, a new thing on the earth that a, a woman is going to compass a man. You go to uh, Isaiah three fifteen talks about uh, children will be the oppressors and women shall rule over them. Man. You know what I mean? So the point is, man, they have power in this in this rulership, man. They have power in this rulership. Um, let's continue on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be a breach. Breach is something that's going to be ultimately a break or um, a form of a, um, a compromise. Um, breach of security. Something that's been compromised. Ultimately, something that's been uh, in infiltrated. Man. Infiltrated. Um, therefore, the iniquity shall be as you as a breach ready to fall. Pretty much something that's getting ready to co collapse and fall. Swollen out of a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. For example, a leak in the wall. It collapsed all of a sudden. That's how it's going to be. That's that breach. Right? And ye shall break as the breaking of the potter's vessel. This is broken in pieces, and ye shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the person of Dashard to take fire from the heart and to take water with them out of the let me see. 31. Let's go to 31. Let's go to 31. That relates to uh, pretty much um, just real quick. A redirect video I was watching talking about um, Trump buying um, milkshakes, chicken. <laughs> you know, black folks like chicken. They like watermelon too and different things, you know. Kind of racial in the windows, hidden racial in the windows behind that. Whatever. But the point is, you know, he's trying to Surely oppression make a wise man mad and the gift destroyed the heart. So he's, he's trying to send a form of a gift and really to try to persuade a certain people and influence them related to special election time. 31. to them that go down to each of hell and stay on horses and trust in chariots and earthly, earthly power they're limited in power, strong but they're limited in power, because there are many in the horsemen, horse, horse represents that power kind of, because they are very strong but they look not into the Holy One of Israel neither seek the Lord remember that's why they went down to Egypt they didn't get permission, they just went down there they, they despise and reject it relating to the Lord and they went on anyway Ultimately, that's going to be what? Their shame and confusion, man. Call on our gods and let them save you in that time, man. Um, yet ye also is wise and will bring evil and will not come back, his, come back, not call back his word, but will rise against the house of the evil doing against the help, the help of them that work iniquity. Now, Egypt. The Egyptians are men and not God. Horses and their horses flesh and not spirit. And when the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that help him shall fall, and he that hope and shall fall down, and they all shall fall together. That's that judgment, right? Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, Proverbs 1. Let's go to Proverbs 1. I'll read at seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Knowledge. One in seven problems. For fools despise the wisdom and instruction, which is the understanding. Lead to that knowledge, that truth of knowledge. My son, 
hear the instructions of thy father, forsake not the law of thy mother. The knowledge. Slow down a little bit. Um, my son, walk not in the way of with them. Refrain thy foot from thy, their path, laying to going contrary evil. For their fret feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. So there's going to be a trap that's going, that's going to catch them. Lay the wait for their own. They their own blood, they lurk quickly for their own lives. Let me go down. Wisdom cry without. She uttered her voice in the street. That's the wisdom and knowledge to the prophets that they were relating to um, the truth and knowledge being on the street. She cried from the chief places of conquest. The prophets prophesizing, you know, in the chief concourse place in the um, streets. Related to um, the truth of knowledge due to prophet, the spirit put on the prophets to speak related to the truth of knowledge. The uh, scripture talks about uh, Isaiah 58 and 1, talk about cry, uh, cry out loud, spare not, uh, house of Israel that sins it. Um, um, how do we get it? Isaiah 58 and 1, cry out loud, spare none. Cry out loud. Cry out loud, spare not. Lift up, lift the voice up like a trumpet, so something this loud. Shoot my people their transgression, the house of Israel, the house of Jacob, their sins, man. Um, go back to Proverbs real quick. in the chief places of concourse and the opens of the gates in the city she uttered her words saying how long ye simple ones relate to the Israelites will ye love simplicity the simpleness man the simplistic things man and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge which is because they lack the wisdom and the understanding so they're considered be considered as fools man because I call and ye refuse I stretch out my hand and no man regard it uh, through the prophets prophesizing and preaching showing their mercy through having the prophets speak among these nations which are scattered among these nations Israelites and all the nations speaking this truth of knowledge man relating to that net catching all types of fish in Matthews you know some good some bad um, um, let me continue Turn, at, turn you at my reproof, and I'll pour out my spirit into you. I will make known my words into you, because I have uh, I have called, and ye refuse. I stretch out my hand, and no man regardeth. But ye have set a knot at my counsel that would none of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So part of that, them trusting in Egypt. That's going to be shame and confusion, man. And the Lord's going to mock them and laugh at them, man. When they in there, and that goes to the derision and mockery, man. When, especially when certain things happen. That parts of that would be the fear and the things that's going to, the terrors that's going to happen, man. You know what I mean? I will laugh at your calamities, your calamities, your atrocities, your miseries. And I will mock them. When your fear cometh through these things, and when your fear cometh as desolation, your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When they say peace is safety and sudden destruction, now that whirlwind is going to be like sudden 
destruction, man. Unexpected, fast, sudden, man. Uh, let me get it. Um, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, man. So all these things, which is going to cause fear among the, the collective of people, man. Collectively of people. But specifically nation Israel specifically taught about by all people. That's what this goes to. Then shall they call upon me, I will not answer. So the Israelites are going to call upon the Lord when all hell breaks loose. They're not calling them now because it's not convenient and it's not a priority to call on the Lord now because they can still do what they want to do. As long as they can, they don't, they don't need to call on the Lord and His only begotten Son. But because it's not a priority and it's not necessary to majority of the collective people, man. But when these things come relating to these calamities, these miseries, these uh, uh, adversities and different things, that's when they're going to call. They're going to call on the Lord in all kinds of names they're going to call, man. And that's why the Lord's going to mock them relating to scorn and division, man. And derision, man. He's going to mock them and ridicule them, man. Let's continue on. They shall, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. So all, all hell breaks loose, for example, when the famine of the word. I will send a, a, a famine, a famine that should be in the land, not of um, food and not a thirst for water, but hearing the word, uh, hearing the words of, um, hearing the words of God. Man. 8 and 11, 12 talks about they're going to seek, but shall not find. 12 and 1 talks about uh, uh, relating to seeking uh, from thy youth while the evils are still at, um, at bay. Man. 12 and 1 of uh, Ecclesiastes. Man. They shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hate knowledge, which is just truth, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. And did not choose to fear the Lord, so they did not choose. Remember, they're wise to do evil, but to do, but to, um, they're wise to do evil, but to, um, but um, they're wise to do evil, but to, uh, but to do good. They have no knowledge, man. So they purposely have no knowledge when it comes to doing what they're supposed to do, man. Purposely, purposely. They were none of my counsel and despised all my reproof relating to from the prophets, man. Then the sh part of that love is showing that mercy is through putting the spirit on the prophets so the prophesies so they know certain things to begin to repent and come back. That's the mercy. That's that's that, that's the that's the that's the mercy, that's the love even. Allowing this knowledge and truth to be back, back manifested through the remnant, man. So collectively all can come back in the next kingdom, man. But through the through the um the the um the remnant, which is the small amount, man. You know what I mean? Because the Lord didn't have to allow this truth to be um, manifest back to the nation of Israel. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices, man. For turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Wicked. But whosoever hearkening to me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet for, from the fear of evil. And that's that refuge, that's the form of protection, man. Angels are, are rounded about uh, those who protect them, man. Psalms 34 and 7. Uh, so this was short relating to that. So pretty much trusting in Egypt, man. That's going to be their mockery, their shame, their ridicule. You know what I mean? For trusting. You know what I mean? So um, this is just something short. I want to give all praise y'all. Bashim Yosha, Bashim Akaka, I hope it helps. So, um, because, um, you know, the simplicity of relating to 
you know, uh, relating to a certain category group of people, you know what I mean? And pretty much them trusting in the ways of this oppressive system, man. You know what I mean? Give them some uh, milkshakes and uh, cookies and uh, chicken, they all right. But that being said, I'll give them um, uh, all praise. Y'all by Shimmy Yosha, by Shimmy This is Zaya Wolf. Hope it helps y'all.